Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Roxanne. This is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing an era. We're doing season two. We're doing the episode Blast Radi Radius. Um, I actually recorded an earlier version of this and the audio is all kinds of messed up on it. So I'm redoing it. So um, bear with me if I forget anything. So let's just jump right into it. So we start off with there's a car chase and um, with Oliver going after the bad guy. He tries to get info on the skull mask, but he doesn't get anywhere. Then, um, Felicity leaves town to go visit Barry. Um, there's no change. And then we go to a flashback scene where um, they bury Shadow, and Slade gives him Shadow's hood, like, to honor her. And then we go to the present day where uh, Laurel just keeps popping his pills. Just popping pills. And then we cut to a scene where Oliver is supporting Blood. And then we cut to more loves what Thea's done with the club. And it's kind of a funny moment just because um, Oliver's like, this was my idea first. And so I want to know, my, I, she goes, I want to know, honey, but she turns into a business. Joyce is more like a hobby. So it's a little bit of sub, uh, sibling rivalry there, which I actually really like a lot. It's really funny. And then we catch a scene where um, a bomb goes off on a building and people are trapped and the arrow helps. Then we go to a flashback scene where Slade goes off and almost kills Oliver. Because they're trying to create a plan. He doesn't agree with it. He just wants to snatch the guy neck and be done with it. But he kind of is going cuckoo in the brain. And then we go back to the present where Felicity is back in town. And then uh, Laurel um, visits Blood. Then Blood gets some type of sap story on why he is doing this and about his other friends and stuff. So yeah, that happening. And then um, when he when Blood turns around and talks to his advisor for campaigning office, um, she goes through his papers and take and sees something kind of funny. She sees some type of um, like a bill for this um, retirement home. Then we cut to um, Roy and Thea making out and um, upstairs in the club and um, a bunch of glass dumps on Roy and gets like a giant gush on his arm. And then we cut to another scene where Arrow talks to Lance and um, talks to Lance about the bomb goes off, going off. And then there's a car chase scene, which I love car chases. And um, it's in a really, really good scene, but um, he um, Oliver ends up losing him. Then Oliver gets mad at Felicity because Felicity, um, he feels like she's not focused, and he needs to. She tells her he tells her to just rein it in and just be focused. And then um, Oliver's a little jealous though of um, Barry. <laughs> kind of crazy, but it's true. That's like I feel like um, Barry and Felicity did kind of hit it off. But um, then we cut to uh, um, the arrow tells um, Blood to stop the rally. But um, Blood says he's not going to do that. He wants to create unity and show that people are not scared of the terror attacks. So, you know, the bomb is going off. So they're at the rally. And um, so it's like rally time. And But um, Arrow goes to the shop where Felicity found the, um, the guy from. And he gets trapped. And he has to deactivate the bomb in the store. And basically what happens is that it's a bunch of the different wiretaps, but since the building was done in the 70s, um, Felicity was able to create a plan to do a, um, there's like different power sources. All you got to do is hit the fuse box. It should deactivate everything. And then we cut to the rally again, and all the queens are there. Moira and Thea and uh, Roy. Well, Roy's the boyfriend, but anyway, he's there too. That's my point. And uh, Diggle found the bomb in a speaker. Then uh, Diggle gets shot by the guy. And then um, as that happens, there's like pandemonium. And one of the big light beams, I forgot what you call it, drops. And... He manages to save Thea and Mora because it's about to fall on them. And then um, we cut to where Oliver goes after the bomber. 
and the bomber has a dead man switch on him. And so what, uh, so what, what Oliver does is he just literally just shoots an arrow to cut the wire, and he can't do anything, just knocks him out, and he goes to jail. Then we get to where Oliver apologizes to Felicity, and it's a little nice little moment between those two. Then we have the flashback scene where Ivo um, bombs the island, and then um, Slade disappears. Then we go back to the present where um, Laurel visits Blood's aunt, because they find out um, it's just an aunt that he's taken care of. And then we cut to where Arrow supports Blood. And then um, we cut to where um, back to Laurel and the aunt talking and says um, Sebastian is the devil and he killed his father. And that really, the aunt is really Sebastian's mother. So that leaves uh, Thea not to trust him whatsoever. And that's where we leave this really awesome episode. I'm going to give this an A-plus episode. And I just I love everything about it. And I like how um, they're trying to go a different way with uh, Laura Lance and how she's basically becoming a druggie. And it's, it's just a different take on her character and stuff. So it's really kind of interesting to see what's going to happen next. And I really, really, really like this episode. Like I said, I give this A+. Plus. It's really good. And I just love everything about this show. So anyway, um, this is going to do it for me. So if you like this uh, this video and like this review, please give it a like. Comment down below on what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree with me? And subscribe for more stuff that's coming up. And I got a new shirt. Well, it's not new to new, but I like this shirt a lot. It's one of my favorite shirts. Anyway, a little off topic, but anyway, um, I'll see you on my next video, and I want y'all to have a super duper awesome day, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!